Hello, day 13. I had to think about that for a while. Day 13 on the master fast. Was it day 12? No, yesterday was day 12. Day 13, master fast systems challenge. We're still here. Still here. Still alive. Still not craving food very much. Definitely had some cravings today, but I'm noticing that there's a correlation between the cravings and the the mind games and desire to quit and just any yeah mind games and how i feel and the worse i feel or the stronger the symptoms the stronger the pain the more mind games i have which i think makes a lot of sense but that is uh one pattern that i'm noticing hmm Feel pretty good right now. Feel much better. Today was better than yesterday. It's definitely a step in the right direction, but still, still feel like these. I'm getting into these weekend funks. Last weekend, I was bedridden and on the toilet for like 48 hours straight in a lot of pain. This weekend, not quite to that extent, which is great, but I'm just starting to really question of like the timing and if it makes any sense. Maybe the sense that like I have nothing planned over the weekend, my body feels this need to catch up because I have the free time, but I'd like to think that I should stop thinking about it. <laughs> so yeah, today's symptoms were mostly on, honestly a headache. I woke up and uh, I went to bed with a stomach ache last night with, and a really dry mouth, which wasn't the best, but woke up this morning, had a big enema, my enema amount of liquid I'm able to fit in my colon is increasing. So I did the biggest enema I've ever done, which is like, I think over two liters, like maybe two point something liters. And I filled up my whole enema bottle or bucket. And then <clears throat> after like five minutes, I was just like, all right, let's put more in. So I still had like half a thing of water, put it more in. So that was uh, an achievement of today. I'm noticing some increase there. Um, and then, yeah, after the enema cleared it out, like 30 hours later, my stomach, everything was gone. So definitely I'm sure that the enema helped whatever was going through my system uh, yesterday. Uh, last night I was at this, this event. I was singing Kirtan, and there's a shamanic journey. And I think I went to the bathroom like three times just in this <laughs> event. And two of the times I couldn't even go. I just like sat on the toilet, like thinking my stomach was rumbling, like thinking, all right, is, you know, is the avalanche coming or just a false alarm? And lots of false alarms, which is funny because earlier in the week I actually had a little accident. I, I pooped my pants <laughs> and I love it. And I love myself so much more because I pooped in my pants. And yeah, I mean, it wasn't ideal. I was at the park, thought it was a gas. Turns out it was a liquid. Next thing you know, I'm in the bathroom cleaning up. And, but that's that. And so maybe there's definitely like some mind games being played there also with when I had diarrhea, like going to the bathroom and feeling like, oh, I gotta go. And it it's interesting because I, I keep comparing this to an ayahuasca ceremony, which I'm not sure is the healthiest thing because comparison is the thief of joy. Someone said that at some point, but I'm just noticing myself falling into these same activities that I did at the ayahuasca ceremony, like have stomach pain, but also feel like I'm having a lot of growth. And of that at one ceremony, I couldn't go to the bathroom I kept like oh this hurts I gotta go gotta go sit there for like 20 minutes nothing it's nothing and and after that um the one of the shamans there said you know it could be like ego playing this mind game and I know that it's a completely different ball game but it's just interesting that those situations pop up again where it's like oh, I don't feel good I gotta go I gotta go and I sit down nothing um now that I think about it though it's a bit different because when I sit down sometimes like it's a Instead of a, you know. <laughs> All right, let's uh, move on to the next topic because 
this is uh, getting a little bit grossed out and I'm probably losing a lot of my viewers right now and uh, yeah the news team here behind me they're telling me I need to change the subject so let's talk about let's talk about the reason why I did this fast it's day 13 and I've had this chronic headache for like two years and I was really doing this for that main reason physical and so the physical aspect during this fast honestly I haven't noticed much of a difference some days I feel really good some days have been shitty but that's kind of how my life has been the last two years and the last month or two it's been a lot better but I'm not noticing any huge change in, in physical uh, behavior I'm talking mostly okay energy and pain that are kind of that those are my two indicators that, that I'm tracking um, yeah as far as mental and emotional I feel like those areas I'm, I'm, I'm doing a lot better specifically with self-control and also time management like I have so much more time on my hands so it's so much more easy so much easier to manage time when you have more available to you <laughs> pretty simple math there um, but it's just been nice for my my mindset of just like being in this fast and being focused and committed and I've noticed that the discipline that I've created for myself in this fast is pouring over into other areas of my life and I think that's a, a great benefit but the the question arises for myself it's like all right if it's not helping the physical pain you know why continue doing it so that's kind of what I'm I've been playing around with the last couple of days it's not that like I'm at the point oh I, I want to quit let's get out of here because I'm I'm not feeling worse and that's the other mental game I'm playing it's like well, it's easier to keep going at this point, so I don't find myself slowing down and just stopping unless I have like a, a real desire or big reason to. So I just mentioned that because, you know, so this is hard. And I think one thing I could do a better job of is being more proud of myself. Like 13 days, that's, that's a long time. I mean, a lot of people can't even go one day without booze cigarettes coffee <laughs> and i've gone 13 days without any raw food i'm sick of grape juice the plasma pudding doesn't even taste good the tincture still doesn't taste great but i'm okay with that i'm i would say like i'm neutral it's not like something i despise but i i definitely don't have those excitements and joys over food and i'm kind of torn in between this this spot of like i i see the school of thought from from the the master fast community and it's and it's great it's like people are addicted to food and and having some space kind of allows allows one to realize how a lot of people are eating with their emotions or they're just eating what's familiar not even what the body wants or eating for social reasons and it's turning out to kill their body or they just eat and they don't even realize what they're consuming and yeah, I think there's something to be said about that, but it's like, what else does someone do with their time if they don't get excited about meals and meet up with other people for meals? And that's where I feel like at that point, like, it's it's empty. And I say that in the sense of, it's like if you don't have something that you're really passionate about to live for, then like having this much time would be like I think a lot of people would would go crazy and I definitely that's where I think the spirituality component comes in or the not necessarily spirituality but the desire for for growth in, in a certain area so for me a big driver has just been like obviously the headaches and this physical pain but also just a challenge of like pushing my limits and like really testing my boundaries and trying to figure out like how many days can I live without food? Like, it's, it's freaking fucking crazy, you know? And just, like, playing this game of life and also using it as a reason to in increase my intuition and just, like, continue checking in with myself and talk to my stomach, like, yo, stomach, what what do we need? Like, 
more enemas or grape juice and just like trying to be more in touch with my body at the deeper level perhaps perhaps one might call that self mastery but i mean so having that said i'm still really happy that i'm doing this it makes things so much more interesting and fun and like i definitely have this ego where it's like wow 13 days this is amazing but i think um i think i've been talking too much so i'm gonna i'm gonna end this video got a lot more to say but you may not have the time and this is dragging on so talk to you soon day 13 is it day 13 i think i'm pretty sure day 13 i'm just gonna say it is tomorrow's day 14 and then day 15 is gonna be a dry fast so i'm actually looking forward to the dry fast because that was really amazing and i'm just convinced that tomorrow's monday it's a work day i've got a call with my coach at 9 30 his name's Joshua. I always get super pumped when I talk to him. It's like a mentor to me. So I'm just really grateful how everything's going. And thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, see you tomorrow, day 13. Peace and much love.